Hey, I'm Josh. On this week's episode of Make It Photography, we've got Fred Lyon. He's been shooting moody images on the streets of San Francisco since the 1940s. At age 92, he's still at it, and he's here today to share a few tips, as well as his latest book, San Francisco Noir, on this episode of Make It. <laughs> Hi, Fred. Hi, Josh. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'm so glad to be here. I'm really happy to have you here as well. You are uh, an icon of photography and an icon of San Franciscan photography and something that we're really uh, blessed and honored to have uh, with us. And part of this whole goal of our show is to just get inside of your head and understand how you, how you tick, how you take photos and, and how you've come along this process. Well, th there are no, no real secrets to it. Uh, hard work doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess what I'm m most known for, the body of work that I'm most known for, are my pictures of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, hanging around for this long, I've done, I've done everything from aerials to underwater. Uh, I was around for the golden age of magazines and uh, the magazines sent me everywhere in the world and I've had an opportunity to photograph the most incredible array of stuff and people and that's a an education that you couldn't find from any institution. One thing I love about your work is that in every one of your frames you tell a story. And it's inside of one frame you can tell you can see and learn and, and just live a whole Well, that's what one strives for. However, that applies if you just have a lot of time to go out and wander around and look. Very often I would be on assignment and that requires that you go out, whether it's rain or shine, you have a, a time constraint, and you have to come back with something that is, uh, in this case, printable. Mm -hmm. um, and usually what that consists of is looking for a, a, a shot that will be an opener. You hope that you will get something that's dramatic, that's eye-catching, compelling. Beyond that, you have to think about the support pictures that, that fill out the rest of the story. Yeah. Um, but if you don't have that one standalone opener... Doesn't matter. <laughs> a, and, and to do that consistently is the challenge that professionals have that um, non-professionals don't suffer. And they need to be able to go out on demand and produce. Come back with something useful. If there's something happening, as I walk up to it from a distance, I do what, what film people do. They shoot an establishing shot, which is a long shot, which shows everything and it probably will never be used in the final cut. But it, it's to, to get in the mind of mm -hmm. the editors. Say they're a group of kids in a little circle playing, and you might want to shoot an, another picture of them as you got closer. As you get closer, you'll see that you're only getting the outside of their little circle. Then I tend to go to a, a wider angle lens and to get inside the circle because the immediacy that you have makes the picture. As you were mentioning, like you have all these photos that you've been taking up San Francisco for all this time and you've got a new book that's coming out that I've had a chance to peek at and it's wonderful. I wonder if we could open up a few pages and take a look at some of your favorite shots in there maybe? The premise of San Francisco Noir is that this is a magical city mm -hmm. and most of us who are here are here by choice and we all have a kind of a romantic dream of what this city is. The fog is interesting, the, the people are interesting, the steep hills, the funny architecture, cable cars, and uh, we bought into the myth 
that this is a magic city. Mm -hmm. Part of building stories was to uh, have change of pace and change of scale. And sometimes a very, very tight shot like this helps to speak about rainy days. Right. And, uh, and I don't even know why I shot some of these things, mm -hmm. but happily they weren't thrown out. <laughs> exactly. I might, have done, I might have done that if left to my own devices. I keep thinking of advice that, that I got early on. One of the famous life staffers who was asked one time about what was his secret? He said, F8 and be there. <laughs> yeah. And that really is sort of the essence of, mm -hmm. you have to get yourself someplace where there's something worth photographing. Well, it gets to what you said before though, also that you gotta be there, somebody that's worth taking a picture, but then you also have to know if it's a good enough photo to keep it or put it into the waste bin. You know, um, editing is, is what really makes you look good. Right. <laughs> Exactly. And I like this because it's a fair 15 cents. Mm -hmm. Try that today. Yeah. But I don't think I've ever actually been on a, a cable car since I've lived in San Francisco. <laughs> well, there are all sorts of things that one thinks I'm a San Franciscan, so I must have experienced all these. Mm -hmm. I could live another hundred years and be out there uh, if I were whirling around at this speed. But I uh, thank God I did some of this then. Mm -hmm. And there's new material now, so it's not bad. However, it's, it's not easy to find a, a sailor with a white cap today. The, I saw that you do have some photos in here that you're shooting recently, and you're, you're just shooting digitally all today? I haven't shot on film since about 2004, uh, and I, w I was scanning. Uh, I was scanning old stuff before that. The opportunities of digital are so infinite. The tools we have to work with are so fantastic. I couldn't. I, I'm able to do things I couldn't even have dreamed of even 10 years ago. And. Uh, so I'm not really tempted to go back. I, I think all the stuff that I learned in a wet dark room has informed what I do today digitally. And so I don't, um, I don't denigrate that, but um, that was then and this is now and um, I don't wanna go back. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Oh, that's, and it's great to see uh, you mixing the, the old and the new together in, in, in your book. And I can't wait to get uh, my own copy of the book. And uh, I think this has been really, really fun. It's been awesome talking to you and, and getting a chance to see what it is that you've done and how you've just produced such an amazing body of work. And um, thank you, everybody, uh, for coming in and joining us on the Make It Photography Show. We'll see you again next time.